didn't understand. We agreed getting a divorce was the best thing for all of us. I know, but but standing here watching you pack boxes, it just it's just wrong. No, Lucky, what's wrong is us meeting each other up with anger and pain. Which is exactly what we've been doing for the past year. We've been over this. I know. Maybe you're right. I don't even know anymore, but... But you and the kids, that doesn't mean you have to run out of here. I mean, if you can't stand to be in the same room with me, let me be the one to leave. You know, about not being able to stand being with you, it just hurts too much to stay here. To live with the pain. It's suffocating. I can't catch my breath, Lucky. Can you? Maybe we can clear the air. We tried. And it doesn't work. Now we have kids to consider, and they deserve better from the both of us. I'm sorry our marriage didn't work out. But we have beautiful memories over many years, and nothing can erase that. Unless it's us beating what's left of our relationship to death. Letting the present poison the past. And that's why I'm going. And it's right that I'd be the one to leave because this is your family house. That may be true. But it'll be the loneliest place in the world without you and the boys. I shouldn't have asked you to marry me again. I should have accepted it when you tried to let go. You know, I think we needed to try. I think we needed to try and fail so we could walk away as friends. We will stay friends, won't we? I hope so. Ready for the last load, including you. If you're still leaving. Okay, look, you can give me excuses all you want why your boy shouldn't be with you, but I want my boys with me. talking about Halloween. <laughs> you, well, you know what? You should bring the boys over. This neighborhood is... It's great. Good trick or Okay. And, you know, we can... We can spend Thanksgiving and Christmas together. It's not going to be the family we always dreamed of, but... We can make it work. Hey. Emily. 
finally uh, told me Elizabeth moved out. Maybe too late to lend a hand, but I am here for brotherly support. She certainly didn't waste any time, did she? That's what I thought. But maybe it was for the best. It's not like I didn't see it coming. You want to get out of here, go for a walk, get something to eat? No, I gotta be at work soon. Well, at least tell me how, how you're doing. I'm sorry my marriage is over. I don't miss Cameron and Jake already, but... What? At the same time, I just can't help but... feeling free. This is it. Oh, thank you. Mm -hmm. Where are the kids? Jake is upstairs, out like a light, and Grandma's already stuffing Cameron with a bunch of homemade cookies. <laughs> oh, lucky guy. What about you? How are you doing? It's hard. I look at all these boxes and I think, is this really all that's left of my marriage? Then again, maybe it's good they're all packed away. It's kind of symbolic, you know, so I can face my failure as a whole instead of a bunch of individual mistakes. It's not a failure, Elizabeth. And from what I'm hearing, you sound sure of your decision. The only doubts I have concern my children, because life as they know it has just changed in a really big way. Well, as long as you're making the right decision for you, the kids are going to be fine. And I know you're going to get mad at me for talking about this. I know you don't want me to bring it up. But what about Jason? What about him? I mean, our lives are completely different. Doesn't mean there couldn't be a merger. It's too dangerous. And Jason has enough to deal with right now. And you can feel free to stay, visit, hang out as much as you like. The more you're here, the less you're at the penthouse where Elizabeth can come over and try and stake her claim. Unless she's already done it. I know it'd be really easy to get used to being spoiled by Graham, but we have an exciting new life to plan. We do. We're going to have a new house, and we're going to have new routines. It's going to be sad for a little while, not having Daddy always around. But guess what? You and Cameron get to see him whenever you want. But still, the fact is that the three of us are going to be a family now. And no matter what happens, Mommy will always be there to love and take care of you. Everything's going to be fine. Not that I blame Elizabeth. You are hot, you're available, and you are a sucker for women in distress. And Elizabeth is great at pretending to be just that. But please don't be fooled. Please don't. Don't let her use another man's kid to yank your chain. Shut up about Elizabeth already. You don't know what you're talking about. Okay. You talk about Elizabeth like she's nothing, like she's not good enough for me. But you know what? It would make me happy to have Elizabeth and her boys to come home to. But don't worry, Carly, it's not going to happen because they wouldn't be safe. I'd rather live alone for the rest of my life than risk anything ever happening to them. So you know what? You can act up all you want, throw your tantrums, defy Sonny, defy me, but don't ever talk about Elizabeth like that again to my face. <laughs>